What's up YouTube, it's Aditya S and today we're going to be reviewing and unboxing the Vitamix blender as you can see right over here. So we got this blender from Costco for $279 which is a really good deal for these blenders as they're pretty expensive and apparently this blender is able to make up to 10 different types of dishes and is really high performance. So I'll just like read a few things off the box. It is it says go beyond blending and it, it says that you can explore more than 10 culinary techniques with a single appliance from smooth beverages like soups to textured sauces and steaming hot soups to frozen desserts. So let's go ahead and open this up. So I'll just open this from here. There we go. And here we are. So now I'm as, I'm, as I'm opening this, the first thing I see is the actual part where you put the food in the blender. So here we go. It looks, it seems really durable. It's really large. I can say that. So I'll just put this over to the side. Well, the next thing that we find in here is going to be the actual bottom portion of the blender. It's a little bit heavy. This is really hard to get. And here we are. Here's the actual bottom part of the blender. It's in some plastic wrapping. It looks really large. This is a really large blender. And here we go. This looks pretty nice. And here we go. So as you can see, there are three buttons slash dials here. Here's the on and off switch there. Here's the diode that controls the speed of the blender and the speed of the blade. And here is the pulse. So as well as this, here is at the actual container. If you unscrew this cap and pull it open, you can use the tamper. If there's any food stuck inside, you can use this to like sort of ease its way through and get the blade to start working again. So now that we're done, let's get started. So all you have to do to like set this up is you're gonna put this here. And wait, I'll do that in a sec. So at the bottom of this, there's gonna be a wire and you're going to just take this wire by possibly, should be pretty straightforward, just unlatching the wire from these cable areas. So just unscrew that, put this through. You can move this to the side a bit and unscrew the wires like that. So once you get the entire wire out, all you have to do is put this container on here, plug in the wire, and if you need to use the tamper, you can, and then just follow some of the instructions in the booklet or use whatever ingredients you want and you can make something like ice cream. So that's what we're gonna be trying out. So as you can see, we've set this up, just put the container onto the base and plug the wire in. And you're set. Uh, you have to keep the speed dial at one to start and turn it on. As you can see, there it is, pretty straightforward. Actually, really straightforward. You can increase the dial, but make sure you decrease it to one before you turn it off again. And now you're done. Here you go. Here is your high performance blender. So we're gonna, after this, go over maybe creating something like ice cream using this blender. Okay, so the dish we're gonna be making with this white mix is uh, gonna be latte chocolate ice cream. So as you can see, we have some ingredients. We have the latte over here. We have some ice cubes for the actual ice cream. Uh, there is some Hershey syrup. I won't be like making the chocolate. Um, there is maple, maple syrup. We're only gonna be using a little of that for the sweetener. And some 2% reduced fat milk, which will act as the cream. So I'm gonna go ahead, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this milk, open it up, and all you wanna do is put enough milk to go and fill the bottom. So let's go around there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take 
the coffee. And what we're going to do with the coffee is we're going to just pour it in. I'm not going to put too much because there isn't a lot of milk. Okay? Uh, the third thing you want to do is the actual chocolate part in addition to the coffee. So I'm going to take some Hershey syrup. And this might take a bit of time. I'll just speed it up. But I need this to drop on. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some maple syrup. And for sweetener, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Mm, let's go that much, just for sweetener. Instead of putting direct sugar. Oh, I think I'll add a little bit of milk. And we're almost done. We just need some ice cubes. So I'm going to drop these in. There we go. And I'm just going to put a few more, not this entire thing. Or if it drops in, it's fine. Okay, there we go. So all we need to do now is put this lid on. Make sure it's secure. And make sure you start the motor at 1. Because if you like start the motor at 6 or from 2 to 10, at the beginning you might damage the motor. That's what it says in the instructions. So I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna start the actual thing at 1 and increase it to say 3 for about a few seconds. And you can see the ice cream is being made. I'm gonna keep it here just to blend in the ice cream for the next few seconds, uh, around 20 more seconds. Okay, it seems right about done. So I'm going to open this up. There we go. It is a bit messy. And use this spoon over here to pour some ice cream. It did come out a little mushy and Here we go.